trade us across the globe and welcome to the 1278th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. And that, of course, would be me. Good evening, traders. This video is being filmed on the night of. Well, I guess what? Are we Wednesday? Tuesday. What the hell day is this? It's Tuesday. <laughs> on Tuesday for Trading Wednesday. That's Feb 4th, 2015. Traders, before we get into what's in the video, as you know, futures trading is extremely risky, can cause substantial financial loss, is certainly not suitable for all traders. You've got to know what you're doing if you're going to be in this game. You've got to put your stops in. Lately, you can't count on any one direction for more than a couple of days. It goes up for a day or two, it goes down for a day or two. The volatility has been out of control. With that in mind, remember, this is risky, and always put your stops in. They might not always work, but in most cases, they will knock you out of a trade before you freeze and don't get out. Traders, this is my opinion, but from here forward, I'm going to show you some stuff that should help you enlighten you on what the charts are telling us recently. Now, right off the bat, I'd like to acknowledge a couple of my fans out there in YouTube world and the guys who type too much. Guys, here's what I'm getting lately, and you know, what the hell do you want from me? The market is wailing back and forth over old tapper, down a couple days, up a couple days, but here's what I get now. Oscar, you've lost your touch, you idiot. Oscar, these videos are useless sales gimmicks to sell a fake service. Give it up, Oscar. Shame on you, Oscar. Your videos and your views are useless. The list goes on and on. You can't believe what these people are sending me lately. What I got to say to you traders is this. You're right. This is all fake. I'm fake. In fact, I'm not even here right now. It's someone else doing these videos. And when I'm live on live camera in front of people on a microphone calling these trades, that's not really me either. That's more sales gimmick. I'm just a make-believe guy who knows nothing about these charts, I assure you. You guys are absolutely correct. I am useless and worthless. Feel better? Now that you morons, we've gotten out of the way. To the rest of you traders, if you'd like to learn something tonight, let's go look at the charts. Come on, let's see what we got here. First off on the board, stocks and equities, green on the arrow. Thank you, thank you, thank you for finally going green. There has been a battle at Otapma, and it looks like, as of looking at this evening's charts, the battle at Otapma might have been won by the Bulls. Another round of applause there, if that's the truth. I'm not 100% sure we're out of the woods, and I'll show you why, but we are buyers for trading on the 4th of, of February. So, the Bulls look like they've taken control. We've hit up and down on Otapa five times. It's finally getting back above. We'll see what happens four or five times there. Gold is following its repetitive pattern. Absolutely, unequivocally, traders, I've been putting this gold chart in front of you for the last, I don't know, six videos, five, six videos. And I've told you it's going to come down. We've had a lot of gold bugs last week thinking it was going to go up. Now they believe it's going to start to come down, and it has been coming down. It's called the repetitive pattern, traders. We live by repetitive patterns. Repetitive patterns are exactly what we need in order to move forward on analysis. We need things to happen over and over again like it did the last time. When you notice things like that, they're called repetitive patterns. That is why I've been showing you the gold chart. That's why we've been hunting the gold down as Omniac traders from the short side and will continue for trading on Wednesday. I'm still not sure what day it is. I'm so confused. You know, here's why. If you think I'm crazy, you ask any of my Omniacs, I get so into these markets by the time Sunday afternoon starts, I don't even know what day I'm in. My head is down, nose to the grindstone. It's Tuesday, Wednesday. I have no idea if it's morning, night, if it's Thursday, if it's Sunday. Ask any of my Omniacs. So, it's not that there's something wrong with me when I don't know what day it is. I'm so into this stuff, I can't even look up long enough to figure out the day sometimes. So it's all good, and it helps you guys. So, gold following the repetitive patterns. Otapma, the bullfight, or I should say the gunfight at the Otapma Corral may have been won by the bulls. I hope so. And I'm going to introduce a new segment to you traders. It's called Ask Oscar. And here's why. 
It appears that many of you are trying to hold the Omni Arrow, or my opinion from the charts, to every single wiggle that takes place in the markets. The way these things are swinging like this, when we get into a trade and it profits for X amount of points and we jump out, do you expect us to stick around just because the video 18 hours ago said it has to go down? What do you think, we're gonna sit in that trade and get crucified just to make you bashers happy? Kiss my Omni, you know-nothing bashers. Are you kidding me here? You know how hard this shit is? Pay attention. Anyway, so I want you to ask, Oscar, you got a question about what we did with the trade, how we handled a certain piece of analysis. You write to me, write a comment on this video. I promise to get back to you. If you'd like, shoot out an email to Oscar at futuresanalysts.com. I will reply to that. And if you really want to get me right away, you call in. I will answer the phone. I will speak to you personally. 702-629-4755. You call the office. I'll explain anything that's going on on the board, on the charts, in the markets, what you need. I'll be there to help you out. It's called Ask Oscar and make sure you participate. All right, traders. So. The ES, the NASDAQ, usual suspects, and some stocks. Omni's got its eye on some stocks for trading on Wednesday. So this should be exciting. I want to show you the charts. Let me show you why it looks like the bulls have taken control, but we'll see. It's not 100%. Why gold looks like it'll keep moving down. And with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, I'm the X. The first chart I'm going to show you this evening is the Dow Jones Industrial Daily Average. It looks like the Omni is back in the bull saddle. And let me explain, especially for you basher so-called analysts out there that probably couldn't trade your way past fun with Dick and Jane. You probably couldn't analyze that book, let alone a chart. Let me explain why the last few days this thing's been jumping around and how the hell could that be my fault anyway? Traders, here's what we got. For the rest of you traders that got level heads, we'll see you in the chat room, but here we go. We have had a lot of shots under the Omni here, which is more than usual lately, right? Usually you get down to the Omni, and if you're lucky, you'll get a couple of shots, and it takes off. You get back to the Omni one time, and it takes off. You get here, you get three times, and it moves higher. But this time it went one, two, three, four, five. I mean, really? That is something that we needed to look at in the form of an F flag. Do you see the F flag right there? Inverted Oscarism F flag. So you've had that underneath Otapma. What on earth do you expect an analyst like me to do except for say it's a battle and until that battle's over, we're not 100% sure where it's going to go. We keep playing both sides. Finally, it looks like it has broken out because it's all the way here and Otapma's down here. The market is now here. you got to love what you see. So the power of Otapa, we've been under it, over it, under it, over it more times than usual. And I'm not so sure that's a good thing, to be honest, but at least for trading on Wednesday, we're up here. Let me explain a little more detail. Traders, the E-mini S&P, same average, right? The Otapa, the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary, right? The OT8 PMA, there it is for you. When it hits, it goes up pretty good, right? It goes up one day, two days, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ah, right? It has a good time. The next time it hits it, it only goes up two days. Boom, boom, and it comes right back down. Then when it finally gets above Otapma, this time it goes up one, two days, and it comes right back down. This time it hit it more times than usual, more times than usual. It's been up for one day. Will it only go up for two and come right back down? I'm not so sure we're completely out of the woods yet. I have to be honest here. We're bouncing off Otapma just too many times. Either we're going to have a major explosion or we're getting a prelude to something else. Let's let the market tell us. Next, your NASDAQ. Same sort of look. It was, there was a time when if the NASDAQ was going to hit Otapma, it would have a nice run with a lot of days, right? La, 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 boom, 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 right? Big run off Otapma. Next time you hit Otapma, you get one, two, and it just sort of mm, fizzles out. But you got a few days here, six, seven, eight, but you got more than just a quick run up and a dump. You come back to Otapma, and this time you get out of Otapma, you have this day up, so it's kind of two up days, and boom, right back down again. 
This time you get into all tap, we have one, two, three up days, and you come right back down again. Boom. So here we are. And lately, as you might have noticed, you're not getting as much time away from Otama. And if that's the case, it may be telling us something here. Yes, we're bullish for trading on Wednesday, but we are cautious lately. I'm more cautious than usual. We'll take it one day at a time with the bull arrow for trading on Wednesday. Then you've got the Russell. And once again, look at this. This is a time span for the Russell 2000 daily bar. Between hitting Otapma here and hitting Otapma here is the same exact time span that I put over here. But here's the difference. You only hit the Otapma one time in this time span. In this time span, you hit it twice. Boom. Boom. The same time span, but you hit it twice. That's something starting to happen. I'm not so sure if you can just be gangbusters bullish on this market for trading the rest of the week, certainly for trading Wednesday, we're going to start off by buying. We'll see where that goes. Caution. That's what I'm trying to tell you, traders. We're trading long with caution. Then you've got the DAX, which has a clean, beautiful QE breakout. Go QE over there in Europe, right? Round of applause. Five, six, seven years. Too late. But late is better than never at all. So there we are, European QE showing a substantial move, very nice, in your DAX. And then, of course, we go out to the weekly. This chart I have been showing you as long as I've been showing you probably the gold chart. And I've been telling you that no matter what's happening on the downside in the S&P and the NASDAQ, you're just gyrating inside of a big, booming bull flag. And until this is not a bull flag, the end result should be higher. And I have been saying that since I've been calling the downside. But again, there's some lunatics out there that basically say, Oscar, you can't say it might go up in a week and say it's going down tomorrow. Whatever is on their heads. I don't know what's wrong with these people. But the truth is, we are in a big, booming bull flag for now in the NASDAQ. And the likelihood is we'll break out all the way up to here at some point. We do take this one day at a time. And, of course, we will continue to trade it one day at a time. Traders, then there is your goal. We live by repetitive patterns. We look to spot repetitive patterns. This repetitive pattern only Oscar had for you when everyone was calling the bull market here. And I stopped right there and said, no, no, no. I drew this red line and I showed you. Remember, I said, look, it hits the line, comes down, misses the line just barely. Illustrated with an umbrella. And I showed you it comes down, right? We did this chart many times. Hits the line, comes down. Just misses the line umbrella, comes down. Hits the line, what should come next? I told you it should come down. You've heard this in how many videos? Where is it going now? It is coming down. Very, very nice. Once again, we all recognize one thing. This is not real, neither am I. In fact, this chart's not even before your eyes. <laughs> all right, traders. So that is what it is. That's a repetitive pattern. So while it's working, and you know what? Let me, let me illustrate further. This could be a little bull flag right here, right? But we're in a weekly chart right here. If the bull flag could take a week or two to pan out right now, we're coming off exactly like this one and this one and this one and this one. And why should we not expect more? Traders, pull your own charts. Do your own homework. Never, ever accept anyone's opinion about a chart, especially a guy who's not really even there, unless you've done your own homework first. So traders, you've seen my charts and there is my technical argument for why the arrow is green stocks and equities and why we're looking for continued repetitive pattern bearishness in the gold. Don't forget the Ask Oscar segment and then of course you know, this Jordanian barbecue, I mean, what is wrong with these people? Could you imagine sooner or later the world's going to have to get together and unite against these people? I mean, really? Burning people on film? I mean, wow. At some point, Obama, would you please speak to the rest of the politicians in the world, the big leaders, and kind of get together, you know, collectively and do something about this? It's getting slightly ugly out there. In any event, 
We'll trade whatever it is that you guys do. If you drop bombs, the market will go like this. We'll trade. Thanks for dropping the bombs. And we'll continue from there. All right, traders. I'll see you at livewithoscar.com. Come to my free trading room where, of course, ask any of these guys. I won't even be there because I don't exist. Traders, don't forget. Keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.